Hi guys, thank you for joining. I'm gonna start in a while, just some arrangements over here. Hi Connor, thank you for joining. Okay, I guess I can start. I will just try to mix painting first. We have one black, cobalt blue and white, titanium white. So our bulldog is black, but it's not really black. So I'm gonna use these combinations of color. Because anyway, we need this black and blue to make it a little bit lighter. Also I'm gonna add this white a little bit less to get this grayish bluish color. Maybe it's not so big difference from the black, but on the painting it's gonna be visible anyway. Just some lighter color, isn't it? Is just add a little more blue. Hi guys, we just joined. I can see by views. We're painting a bulldog today. It's a French bulldog. So I'm just preparing colors. What I'm gonna use for today's painting.
Это французский бульдог. Меня тут попросили нарисовать бульдога, но не сказали какого. А их уже несколько. Есть американские и английские еще. Но они, в принципе, похожи, поэтому я взял французского, потому что нашел просто подходящую фотографию. Остальных пород что-то не нашел. Было ну, сложнее. Поэтому решил остановиться на этом. Посмотрим, что получится. Да и тоже не очень. Если убить бульдога, там просто несколько разных бульдогов выходит. А когда начинаешь немного копать глубже, оказывается, что они все похожи. Ну, именно вот морда похожа, а уши немного отличаются, поэтому я решил на этом остановиться. Посмотрим, получится, не получится, не знаю. Еще такого не рисовал. Спасибо за поддержку. Надо обозначить основные места. Уже, можно остальное делать.
So I guess it's red, but it's a bit of white. Here is a bit lighter colors in this area. I'm just mixing with titanium white. Just to lighten up a little. This here gonna be black going for black just to divide the nose and the mouth from this area. And also it will be black, more black over here. Maybe not black, I will use this a bit of lighter color. But I mixed already. Just gonna add it over here. Here we're going to leave for the white spot going over here. Something like this, I can see. So this is where I have to, to be lighter. Just clean my brush. Okay. And we'll just add white and let it mix together with the paints here and we'll fix it after. I will just blend it a little bit to make it more smoother. Anyway, can add details after all. 
So we had this first layer should be like this. So white area. We just add white over here. Okay, it's a little bit grayish, but I will fix it after. I'm just leave it for now like this, and I will add more black here. More black and just fix these details a little bit more. You know, to make this his mouth a little bit blue. Very nice and shadow. Because I think light is coming more like from the top, so what is under will be more darker. Also, this area, this area, the cheeks, or what he has there. The more lighter spot, make it. He has a lot of wrinkles here, so it is a little bit complicated, also. So we have like three different colors, maybe it's not so visible on the camera, but this is lighter, medium, darker, like three different areas. Took another brush. I want to add a little bit of wrinkles to the white areas. On top of the nose, we have this black line. If you can see on the photo from the thumbnail, you can notice that here is this black line on the nose. So this is the white torso. I 
I think I'm a little more black here. Here the snows. The holes of the nose also in the black. So let's end. Hi yet. Welcome. I haven't seen you for a while already. Hi Kuhiri Art, yeah, it's a live session. Maybe quality of the video is not so good as my previous videos because it's a webcam, but I'm just practicing live now. Just to talk to you a little bit more. Today we are drawing a bulldog, it's a French bulldog. At least I'm trying to paint him. Let's see how it's gonna turn out because it's my first time to paint this kind of dog. So it might be a little bit challenging also. I'm just working on the nose over here. Just wanna divide these black areas. Just a moment, guys. Yeah, I don't think it's very visible on the camera all these little details but I think you are to see Joe, I guess your name. I spell it correctly. Have to add these lighter colors here. Hi Ruchi, thank you for joining. How are you today? Painting a bulldog today. I 
it's dark colors maybe it's not so visible from the camera but it's like three different tones here hi crop top parts thank you for joining Thank you once again. Yeah, it was like a requested painting to paint a bulldog, but the guy who mentioned the bulldog didn't say what exactly bulldog he wanna see, so I decided to take this French bulldog. Hi, Anfi in Texas, Texas. Welcome to my channel again. I have seen you already here. This is a live stream. Just trying to paint a dog. Okay, so this area is lighter again, so I have to mix it with white to show this highlight moment. Here is this highlight on the top of the nose. means color really so what color he has because this is like a black french bulldog black and white but mostly black so maybe it's not so visible the tones of the colors over here because of this camera but i just decided to challenge myself and paint these black tones Just add a little bit more highlights over here. A little bit this white spot over the nose, just to show this highlight moment again. And this wrinkles over here. Hi, proud Ilakana vlogger. Thank you for joining. As I repeat many times, today we're painting a dog. Okay, it's my challenging session of painting a dog. But anyway, I think it's gonna be okay. Just need to divide all these moments. Because really different colors, different tones. Just has to be have to be careful with it, so Just more darker spots for this wrinkles on his nose. Over here on the top.
Because this area looks like all black. With some a little bit harder, but this area is look a little bit lighter. Thank you for your compliments. Appreciate your help, your support. I'm just trying to do what I can. I think I have to highlight a little bit this now solution. I will add more white over here. You know, just to show this lighter spots. Like to make it a little bit 3D. Because now it looks a little bit flat over here. So if I will add these lighter colors, I'll have this popping out effect. So I just do it. Especially with this nostrils of this dog. It's going like over here and this highlights over here. Then we go ahead on this line we're gonna add more darker. I just wanna divide this nose a little bit in this mouth area with these highlights. Just to make it a little bit popping out. High clouded minds. Thank you for joining. Trying to paint a dog today again. Oh, thank you for your smash like. Appreciate it. How are you guys today? What are you busy with? Thank you, Clouded Might, for your compliments. Uh, still a lot to do. I'm just working with. 35 minutes just to this area already trying to somehow manage it I would say I like these wrinkles how they look but it's really hard to show it Okay, I have to paint this area also just... Okay, we'll add a little bit lighter color over here. And then I will put this darker if I need to. Okay, just let's see how it's gonna do. What's gonna be? I'm confusing words sometimes while busy painting. Okay. Hi, Kendra. I guess I spell your name right. Mm. 
just fix a little bit those details. This area is a little bit darker. So let's just add here this wrinkle lines over the nose and on his cheeks also. This area is a little bit darker also. At least you have rains there. We didn't have rain for some while already. At least it's not so hot these days. Yeah, before it was so hot that it really was difficult to stay at home and paint. At least now it's not so hot. So we can focus on the painting right now. Okay, I think I will leave it like this for now. I will just, just some moments, I will divide this mouth area from the nose a little bit more with this black. So now I'm using really black, it's not mix with blue, just black color. You know, just to make a little bit deepness over here. something like this so this area is a little bit lighter also around the eye oh спасибо Лиля ну это я тут скажем так общение с блогерами было некоторые говорят очень сложно в записи конечно попроще это делать хоть и печатать надо но все равно. Ну, а как бы пытаюсь объяснять процессы хоть какие-то минимальные. Может, кому-то будет интересно, знаете. У нас тут все равно не очень много, но постепенно приходит кто-то. Hi, Carton Gallery. Thank you for coming. I'm painting a dog today. Just finished the first layer of this area. Now I'm dropping on this size. I think I'm fine. Just decided to do a live stream. It's a requested painting. The request was to paint a bulldog, but the guy who mentioned a bulldog didn't say what kind of bulldog he want to see, so I just decided to use this French bulldog. So now I'm working on this. So what I want to do now, I want to divide these lighter spots 
around this side. If you can see the photo from the thumbnail, you can see that this area is lighter and then it's go dark again. So that's what I want to do now. Thank you Priyan Schwartz. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live stream, I would say. I'm just using oil thinner also, just to mix the oils, so it will not be so thick. It's like water for acrylic, so I can cover the space more easier. So again, here is this lighter spots going down. And over there is already this black wrinkle. What I don't like it's complicated to show. It's cool that it is challenging, but sometimes you don't know how to show it, and you looking way for ways how to show it. Yeah, so please for данный момент. Живое общение, живой рисунок. Запись обычно, когда премьера. Вот тогда я да, в чате пишу в реальном времени. А запись уже идет сама по себе. А конкретно сейчас это как... Ну да, живое, можно сказать. Прямое включение. Скажем так. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate your comments, your kind words. Still, a lot what to do. You know, the live stream takes much more time because I have to talk and I have to paint at the same moment. It's not the same as the premiere that we usually see over here. But anyway, just something new on the channel. You know. Okay, I'll mix this black, a little bit gray and blue what I mixed here already. I want to show these wrinkles. This wrinkle also going on over the eye. And it's going up. Because really this area is like all black. It's very dark compared to this mouth and nose. It's not totally black, I think, but it's really dark. I just don't want to show it very black, because black makes a little bit dirty, if it's only black. So better make it a little bit lighter. I think it's something like this. Can add the second layer after. And I have to add a little bit more white on the top of the eye for the highlights. Because when you show the highlights, it's really popping out your painting. And here is this is the highlight over the eye. 
Even a little bit more can be taken. It's kind of here and also under the eye a little bit. Just beside the eyeball, this white line goes here. I'll just mix it a little. Okay, that's it. So, okay, let's just finish this area. Then probably I'm gonna mix the eye. Okay, we'll, we'll see. I'll just add a little bit more oil thinner. So here is this oil thinner that I'm using. It's a combination of oil and just like liquid for paints. I don't know how to say it right, the name of it. Just mixing all together. It really helps to make your oils softer. Thank you for your compliments, little world, Sienna or Shin. I don't know how to say correctly your name, sorry, maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, but I appreciate your compliments for watching my videos. Thank you once again. So I'm just hoping it's gonna turn out great. Or I'm just acceptable, I would say. Because it's a little bit challenging tones over here. I have chosen these black tones and gray tones. Plus this sprinkles over this dog. But anyway. Just a field to work on, you know, good for practice. I'm just blending it over here a little so it won't be so strictly divided, I could say so. We need to divide the sprinkles anyway, but it can be added after. And I want to show this chick first. Okay, here is a little bit. A little bit more lighter area. Just to not... Just to not put it together with this chick. Because beside this chick, Here, this black line of wrinkle again. So I guess I have to show it just a moment. It's gonna cover more space. Here I have to divide it. So I will just use this tiny brush. I think something like this probably is going to be okay. Also, this cheek is a little bit under the cheek, in a darker spot.
I'm going to let this world thin a little bit more. Here is again this lighter spot on his face. Just divide it with body. Okay, I think I will leave it for now like this. I just want to fix this area over here. If it will be fixed, probably gonna be better. Also, ears can be painted a little bit more over here. It's black. Here I can say it's more black. This area. Just want to cover it and combine it together with the face. So as you see how it's going to look like. This area is already much much lighter so i think i have to add more black over here on this area of the ear I'll just add more black. I want to make it a pure black. Because this area is already close to color what we have over here it's grayish slight grayish grayish something like this спасибо Руслан что зашел да я тоже надеюсь что получится что-нибудь сделать неплохое So now I'm going to divide this ear from the head by using these two colors. colors. I think I have to add more titanium white in this gray. So you can see the difference. Probably something like this. 
we can see this here is lighter on the wind through the air. It's and more titanium white right? over this head. This area will be similar as here. Together with here. What is interesting is this dog has this squire head like on, on this area. It looks like squire. So I'm continuing to adding this titanium white putting it over here because this eye is also like a highlight over the eye is highlighted and here between this line it's going to be a little bit darker area Okay, we'll add a little bit more darker here, below the eye. And a little bit above the eye, oh she's dark. It's like this wrinkle. And more gray. I think I'm going to a little bit titanium white to make it popping out again. Just over here. A little bit more. Probably like this I will leave it at the moment. So this again. To the fixed head now I guess. This area will be black. I will just mark it for myself so I can see it. Oh, this area is really black looking. And, uh, Arstein, thank you for your compliments. Thank you for coming to the live stream. Yeah, still a lot what to do over here. I'm working in this area right now. Just wanna divide these wrinkles and these highlights moment. Cause this dog has wrinkles all over her face. And this is what I want to show right now at the moment. It 
Anyway, this area is like more black as I said, so I can't seem to cover it. Hi Pineapple family, you have a nice name for the channel, Pineapple, I'm painting a dog today, yeah it's a bulldog, the bulldog breed, the friend bulldog, I have this painting as a, as a request. So thank you for coming, for your attention. Yeah, how are you today? Yeah, thank you, I'm glad that you like it. So for now I'm just using black. I will cover this area and then I'm gonna drop the highlights on the another part of the dog face. This area is a little bit lighter also, so I just mix it with gray and titanium white again. I will just add it like this, I guess. Once again, there will be this. Here gonna be this wrinkle. So it's going from the face and down. The same in this area. It also has a little bit of wrinkles over here. So that's what I wanna show. Probably something like this. Anyway, I can blend it over here, make it a little bit softer, same with this area, I'm gonna blend it so it will not be so hard divided, just to make it to look a little bit full, because when it's too divided it's like, doesn't look good I would say. Something like this.
a little bit more oil thinner so I can blend colors over here. This area is lighter than it has to be. So I'm just gonna draw this highlight over here. And just to make it like this. Then I'm gonna blend it again. So it will not be so much divided. Then this area is lighter area. So I'm just gonna use this gray over here. Probably something like this, I could say. Just want to add more wrinkles again. So I'm going to use this my small brush. I will just show it, then I will blend it again. And that's it. Again, I'm editing this black over here. Because this looks grayish, but I need it black. Then I will blend it again. I just want to show you like a over. Okay, once again. I think you can jump over this in this area this left cheek or the right cheek if you look at the dog guy. So we know it doesn't matter. So let's paint it over. And then I'm gonna add these highlights again. All the same right? Nothing new. This here is a little bit darker.
Once I finish this, I think I have to go here on the ear just to work with this area again. And probably have to cover what is inside. So we need to add a little bit red and maybe yellow. The colors here are like this, the inside. So anyway, we're gonna see. It's not so dark, let's see. Yeah, clouded, I just wanna finish this cheek over here. Then I wanna finish this ear. Then probably I wanna work more on the eye area. Okay, it's a little bit brownish, I will just need to add more colors. Oh, but anyway, not so spe specific. So this one is also black. All right, just a little bit more titanium white. Hi comics. Thank you for joining. How are you, man? The streamers meet each other. That's cool. That's cool. Community growing. Can watch each other, you know, stuff like this. Alright, I think I will cover this ear now. Then I will then I wanna finish eyes and probably I'm gonna add more colors over the top of his face. Plus this all wrinkles, small lines. Just let's see how it's gonna turn out. Just think after what will be next step.
Okay, I need to spoil Sinner again. Just to be able to paint and to mix paints. This area also in my work, coming a little bit here. I'll just use one thing again. It's have to mix colors. Something like this. Again, this wrinkle area. This. It's kind of all wrinkled here. A little bit hard to show. These details. Over his. Over his nose. Okay, I think I have to blend it here a little bit more. Okay, it's too dark. I'll add a little bit more grey also on the top. More grey with oil thinner again. 
same combination. Probably Samsung would be nice. Just to blend the cereals. There is no light actually. This area is more darker. I have to fix it anyway. To fix it, I have to add this highlight again and this wrinkles again. And I'm just making some layers by layers. I'm gonna give this effect. Once again, this darker spot over here. And darker spot on his cheek. Also fixing this one detail. I think something like that might be. Hi, I'm welcome to the stream. I'm trying to paint this dog today. A little bit challenging dog. Yeah, it was a requested painting, so I decided to use this French bulldog photo and just to try to paint him. Yeah, I will add more depth. Just want to finish these first layers. Because it's hard to see with this camera. It's all black and gray. And the camera doesn't show it really well. Unfortunately. Because in reality it looks a little bit more different. But anyway, we'll see how it's gonna turn out. I'll just add some eyes, I think.
Okay, I have to mix in all the colors now. I'll leave it this one day brown for the eyes since I have black already. I just have to be more focused on the eyes now. Just a few minutes, guys. Okay, let's try. You can start with the eyeballs. Because it's hard to see on the photo also. This area is also a little bit darker. Plus his eyeballs. And I think this area under the eyeball is like dark, dark brown. It's only a little. There is not too much brown. No, I just don't want to do a mistake here. Because I don't want to fix it after. It might be complicated it's always fixing every time.
So if I look more closely, here's like three lines, it's three curves. Like this brown, this black and the highlight. Over here. Okay, so let's just add in the second eye. Can you more oil thinner? Yeah, now it looks already like an eye. I think I have to add more eyebrow, you can say so. Probably something like this. Okay, I'll just add this. I'm gonna add a little bit highlight under the line. So. The same as another eye. There is more highlight. Even more white, I guess.
Okay, you have to make this brown now. Right. Yeah, I need to add Russian, maybe or ochre. I will try to see you now. Or something like this. A bit more darker, a little bit. I just Drop a little line. Even can take lighter. I don't think it's so visible on the camera. Hi Vartika, thank you for joining. I think I'm fine. I'm working with this size right now. How are you, by the way? Okay, what I can see is that the camera doesn't show up that it's really lighter, but here in my room, this area is really lighter. So probably I'm gonna Leave it like this. Anyway, I will be taking photo after all, so with my normal camera, so you're gonna see it from the thumbnail, I guess. Maybe I'll just add a little bit lighter brown for this highlight. Just here in the corner and going down. Something like that. I will leave it like this. So now I'm gonna fix another eye with the same colors. I will just add this a little bit darker brown. Then. We'll highlight it to see in. Yeah, internet is always a problem, even for these live streams need good connection. Anyway, thank you for watching, appreciate your help.
I think I need more lighter. I'll just drop this highlight a little bit over here on top of this brown line. Okay, we will leave this size right now on this. What I don't like is that this curve over here. Probably I will fix it now. Okay. Just try to add a little bit more grayish. You know, just to calm down this highlight. Because it's too bright. Actually, I need this bright, but not so much. Something like that. Because here, you know, is a case popping out a little. Hi, Annie Art. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. Okay, I think I can use this Rosa Yena for the years over here. Then after I will be fixing face and I will add highlights on the eyes. I just don't want to finish it now because I want to see how it's going to look all together. Like when we're going to finish the body and ears and then I can add another layers. Just something like that. I think I will use this brown. Leftovers, just mix it here together. Sienna, just like a first layer. Well, thinner again. Hi Vanessa, thank you for joining us. They're painting a bulldog. This is a requested painting, maybe you remember from one of the premier videos before. I think Austin mentioned the bulldog, but he didn't say what exactly bulldog. So I just decided to try paint a French bulldog today. Yes, let's see how it's gonna turn out. And I have chooses. I have chooses kind of difficult colors because it's all black and gray and kind of complicated to divide this all wrinkle. But anyway, challenging, so I kind of like it. Hi, shot you, I think. Your name is. Thank you for joining us. Live stream of the dog. So now I just want to cover these ears over here. I think I need more brown. Thank you, Kamnuri Art, for your compliment. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining, for watching with your attention. Appreciate it. To me, I think the series, like, more darker 
over here to go to my face, so I don't think it's kind of divided towards here. Yeah, I think anyway, I have to add more details after all. You know, just these highlights ones. Just maybe a little highlights over this. I don't know about the notion now. Anyway, I'm gonna see it after. Hi, dear artist. Yeah, I'm drawing live now. Just trying something new on the channel to communicate with you guys. No, just just something you tried. I think I appreciate your compliments. Okay, I'll drop some highlight like inside the ear. I think it's a rosy in or something. Maybe just add a little bit more white. Over here, not sure yet. Thank you, Vanessa. I'm over to white. Also, here is like I don't know what is here, but it's like a little bit of highlight. Maybe there's like not a much, not enough force or like this. Hi Pony Art, welcome to the live stream. We're painting a bulldog today. Anyway, there is not enough depth in the ear, so they can see from the reference photo. So, but I have to... I will add same colors here, and then I will just cover it with the black, where I have to cover it. So, let's see how it's gonna be. It's okay. It still will be like one hour anyway. Because I'm not gonna finish so soon. So it's kind of long live stream. So it's totally fine. And now communicate and to paint is a little bit challenging also. Because you have to be focused on two things. A little bit of highlights again. Oh shit, has here the highlight over. I think I will just mix it with Sienna, same in this area. Can be added a little. Maybe too much. Just fix it like that. In this area will be black anyway. Just want to blend it a little bit more.
sure yet. Thank you anyway. Okay, well, I'll just darker spots over there. Have to blend it. I'll just blend it a little bit. So it's not be so divided as I said before already. Thank you, Pony, for the compliments. I appreciate it. Anyway, I have to add more details after all. And the background also. I need this well thinner again to cover the series. I think I need a little more because I covered too much over here. But actually the photo is looking like this. Like this here is more visible than another one. I probably have to leave it like this. Okay. Okay, I want to cover this body right now. Because probably this. Maybe I can use this color because I have it too much leftovers. It's not better if I use it. Thank you, Zizi Art, for your compliment. Thank you for joining us today. I still have to add more details after all. Just want to cover this space, what is left, and to see where I can work more. It's even like this, you know, it's kind of straight over here, but I make it not so straight. This area will be white, also with this area. If you look closely in the face and the body, here is the white. And it's hard to see, but it is divided like that. So probably this area I will do a little bit gray, a little bit more gray. This area I will do white. So it will not be like one color. But it will be hard to see that it's divided. So anyway, some arrangements, you know.
be something like this. Now this cardboard will, will absorb the oil and this area will become a little bit lighter so we will see how it's gonna look after. And thank you Ruchi. Yeah, but I didn't finish this eyeball highlight. These dots are not painted yet so I anyway I have to cover this and this with the probably white grey something. I will see when I will finish this and other parts of the body. But yeah, this is not finished yet. Just wanted the white body and face now. This is a combination of cobalt blue and black and a little bit white, so it's not totally gray. Because sometimes it's black, it's on the sun, on the light, it looks like a little bit of blue. You can notice that there is a blue. I mean, the artist can notice. For sure, simple people, it's difficult to notice. I'm just reading your comments. Uh, thank you for your comments. You know, I'm just trying to do my best what I can. So, yeah. Anyway, always have what to work with to achieve more greatest results. Anyway, you have to think about the background because if you remember my previous video of the cat what I, I was painting live, when I add this red background, it's changed the painting so nicely. It looks like look totally different on better way, I mean. So here I also thinking what background I should add? Because background means a lot. But I guess it should be the lighter background because our dog is black, so the light background will give this popping out effect even more. Alright. I think on the face also I have to add like a little bit more wrinkles over here. Probably not sure. Yeah, also I wanna add this area with white. And also as I said this one is like I think it's mouth or something. It's divided, but on the photo the thumbnail it's hard to see. But in fact, if you look closely, you can see that this area is divided. 
And if I will mix it with the same color, it will be total disaster. Well, probably I'm thinking I will I will do it similar as this one, but this area will be uh, white. Maybe a little bit, or just a little bit grayish. But it's totally have to be divided from this color to not make a disaster. Thank you, Vanessa, for a compliment again. Uh, but it's, anyway, some details are hard to achieve because only you, when you paint, you know what you want to show and how you want to show. Because many aspects, you know, we just don't say, like, for example, I want to do something better in paintings, but at the moment I don't know how to do it. But just visitors and watchers, they don't know it. But anyway, thank you for your attention. I only wish I could have a little bit more better camera to show, but it's very expensive and my laptop, laptop will not take it, I'm sure. So sometimes live stream gonna be like that quality. But I think anyway, it's visible. It's not total, I'm sorry, shit, but it's still visible. The basic moments and you can hear at least one what I talk. But well, anyway, we have a premiere where quality of the video is different because I'm using my mirror camera. But for the live streams, I can't use it because it can't be attached for the live streams. So anyway, we have what we have. You know, just trying to do best what we can at the moment. So do you have any ideas for the background? What can you suggest, guys? Thank you, comments. I appreciate your help. So if you have idea for the background, let me know. Maybe it also can be a bright color like purple or maybe pink. Because I don't want to use red today, because I use red already for the cat painting, if you remember what I have painted before. And totally, I don't want to use green or something. Maybe like yellow background or light yellow would be good. Probably, just don't know. Just drop your ideas. Maybe you have something better. Just a few seconds, guys. I will just wipe my brushes.
Okay. Let's add just some paints over here. Oh no, it's too dark. It should be gray, but not so much gray. I don't want to make it super gray. Yeah, I think about orange also, I was thinking. Maybe yellow or orange or like light orange. Probably would be good because I don't want to make it too bright also. And I don't want to make it dark because our dog is already dark. So probably like light orange would be good. Anyway, we'll see. For now, I just want to work with this area. I think if I will add it just like a dot, it will be okay. Yeah, I think then, then it's done, it will be white orange. If we can say yellowish or orange, something like this. What is this? I don't know, the mouth is strange. Like so strange shape of this mouth, it's not straight, it's kind of I don't know how to describe it. Here. You have to add a little bit more highlights anyway. Like on these wrinkles, this cheek area is a little bit more divided. So I will just be adding slightly these highlights. Does someone of you know this coffee site, I think, it call, it calls coffee, it's like similar to Patreon that we have, but you can just donate, donate small amount of money over there, maybe some of you have tried it before, how does it work? When you're still here, glad to know it, that you're still watching this complicated process. But, you know, it's cool to see how art is struggling sometimes. Eh? Here over the eye also. Why oh, you want blue? Because we have, we were thinking about 
orange or yellow. And we stopped on the like light orange. Yeah, I don't think I had some more of these wrinkles and it looks a little bit more cooler now. Still I can use a little bit more white. Just to add a little bit more of this soft touches. Oh, this is too much of it. Anyway, I can wipe. Because here on his forehead, he has these wrinkles. Goes over here, this cheek. So we have to be careful to not add too much. This will be hard to take it out after. Also this area a little bit more divided. A little bit more highlight from this eye, just to add it more popping out and going also down. And here I can blend a little bit more. I think even this corner is also a little bit lighter. Or something like that. So now we, it really shows a depth over here in this area, I think. Thank you, yet. Yeah, I'm just adding some, if you can hear me while, while I'm talking here. I'm adding these highlights now, just to add a little bit more depth. Just want to show this popping out eyes and also to fix a little bit this cheek over here. And for now, let's drop into another eye. We want to show this eyebrow a little bit lighter than the color under it. And as a feed your animals over there, they are always hungry. <laughs> really, they do nothing in the house, they sleeping, they they chilling, lying in bed every time, and always hungry. These pets are crazy. Yeah, returning to my painting, I, add, I will add these highlights also here on the corners, a little bit more lighter, 
Also here on the top. And then just highlight that Victoria here. Even a little bit more can be added. Yeah, it's an important mission to feed animals. They will be angry more. <laughs> yeah, you better to hurry. <laughs> they can't wait. Gonna be so loud for sure. Okay, just a few seconds, guys. And back. I also want to show the wrinkles on his, I think it's shoulder, because if you look again on the thumbnail photo, you can see that this one is not the arm of the dog, it's not the paw. It's already divided over here. I think I will add this area will be a little bit lighter and we will add this wrinkle over here because I have to divide this arm from the body because this is already like butt of the dog it's just hard to see on this photo but it's really like this because you see here, it's ending over. If you look on the line, anyway, it's a little bit torn like this. So this area is just more visible and it will go with a little bit upper, but it's not too much. Because photo was taken more from this side. Anyway, I will just use a little bit bigger brush and I think I will use this lighter color, color like this. Yeah, orange for the background, we just decided like this also. Probably the light orange, not so juicy, just a little bit lighter. I think yeah, it will be a good choice. Okay, for now just let's divide this area a little bit again. I will use oil thinner a little bit more. No, just more easier to mix. Have you painted something new yet? I haven't seen your new videos for a while already. Just curious if you paint or not. Because sometimes actually you have to take a break from the art also. You can paint every time. It's also tiring.
Also here I will fix a little bit lighter color with this. A little bit more highlights under the, so behind behind the body, just here on the top. Since this is not the core of the dog, here will be this darker spot going down. Probably it's not so visible again on the camera what I'm trying to show. Yeah, I think I will leave it like this now. I want to finish this area now. Still have this another brush that is clean. Now add this white over here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be mixed with this color, but maybe not. Let's see anyway. Yeah, it's mixing a little, but I think it's okay. It's not too much. Because anyway, it's not really white, white, so white. It's going to be a little bit gray plus the shadow area under his face. So now you have, now you can see that this area from face is divided from the body. This was what I was talking about. This white and gray. Thank you, Edgar. I appreciate your comment. Yeah, when I said it's looking at you. So feed him. Faster. Okay, just kidding here. Thank you, man. I appreciate your help always.
Okay, I'll try to do this full road here. Because this area is not so smooth. Same with this side. But anyway, I have this fun brush, so I can try to do a little bit over this. No, just to make it more. to show this here on the body. Okay, probably something like this. Just one minute, guys. Okay, I'm here again. I think I will add again returning to this highlight because it's never ending story, you know. I wanna add a little bit more here to divide this cheek by going down and then also this area. So we have to take this white just a little, you know, the soft touches, etc. Because it's easy to spoil your painting. And then after to fix it, I don't like it. So better just do it slow confident will fix every time after mostly from, from this side down Yeah, you always can use finger to blend.
Because again, this area also a little bit more highlighted. It's going a little bit up close to the other. And here from the nose, this area will be. Yeah, even I can think I can add a little bit more this highlight. I mean, not more, but a little bit brighter in the sun aspect. A little bit here. You know, just, just some wrinkles a little bit. Because also have to add these darker spots again. It's totally we are not finished with this nose. I want to show you that this chip is a little bit curved like on the photo. So when I'm the highlights, gonna help us with this. Because under it, after I can add the black, a little bit of black, the same as I'm using white, just soft the soft touches can totally change your painting and you can blend your finger actually for the last paintings I do mostly animals just for my practice but I think I will return one day to the landscapes also. Because I'm a bit tired of doing landscapes every time, you know. So I just decided to jump over these animals for my practice and to see how it's going to turn out. Plus some people like it more. So when I will be doing landscapes and animals together, I can combine it in one painting. Thank you, Maridis. Welcome to the live stream. I appreciate that you came. I'm just working with these highlights details. I want to do this popping out effect a little bit more. Hi, Priya. Thank you for your compliment. Okay, time for the eyes, because I didn't finish the eyes yet. This is just not a paint, this is just the same as here, just background. So anyway, you have to add some white probably, or I can add a little bit more gray. I don't know yet. Because anyway, the eye, the highlight is white. If just a moment, I'm reading. I didn't try human portrait yet. This is just my future desire. Probably a little bit later, 
because I want to paint myself first to see how it's going to turn out. Because it's a little bit complicated. I just don't want to, you know, spoil it because the level of the portrait are different. You know, some paint portrait, but it doesn't look like it's very cool. I just want to show the result. So I'm not hurry with this. But probably, yes, in the future I'm planning to paint portraits also. That's for sure. I just need a little bit more practice to be confident. Maybe not, not this year, but maybe next year. But yeah, for now I'm just practicing this kind of animals, you know, because here also are depth. But animals are a bit easier, I guess, because it has four and you can change a little bit of details and shapes because of this four. So this four is kind of a little bit cheating. I could say it's like cheating as it allows you to play with the shape, but on the people face, on the person, you won't be able to do this. So I'm just not so much in the hurry. I still have no idea how people do tattoo portraits. I think it's so high responsibility just to paint a portrait as a tattoo on someone's body. I, think. I don't know, I will be so nervous, I guess. Just one mistake and totally make a disaster. Okay, returning to the wrinkles again. Now I'm gonna add this black just a little bit. The same as what I was doing with this white, just with black now to add a little bit more deepness and to show these wrinkles on some parts of this face. I guess it's a little bit here, plus not only wrinkled, but this shadow area. The same, I can blend it after all. Just want to blend a little bit more to soften the edges over here. Plus over here is a little bit more darker. This spot. something like this. Even a little bit more darker can be any. Just to show this area. 
And again, I'll look at it here. The same blending with fingers. Thank you, Vanessa. I'm glad that you like my art. Now, this is like endless story of fixing details. You know, you can fix it over and over. Feel like all day of fixing. You want to fix this and you want to fix that. Come on. Every time like this. And this little bit darker spots here under this. Under the highlights, the darker spot. Do you have any ideas, guys, what to paint for maybe next live stream? Because I thought about elephant, actually. I remember someone requested me to paint elephant, so maybe just to make it a live stream one day. But I have to find this good photo, because it's really hard to find. Because I don't want to paint all elephant with like full body on this small size better to paint face I guess it will be more beautiful so I have to find this good reference for it. so if you anyway you have idea just drop it here the comments. Giraffe, actually I have giraffe already. Maybe I can show you after the stream. Because I made giraffe like my first animal painting and I didn't like it too much. Because compared now, it's not so cool. But probably someone gonna like it. I still have a video about giraffe. But I never upload it. Because I don't actually like it too much, but I have this painting, and yeah, I can show you after the stream if you're gonna be here. Because I don't know when it's gonna end, and just wanna finish this in one stream. I just don't wanna divide this on two videos or something. Yeah, ovals actually also, but I'm not sure. If I can paint them, because they have these theaters, you know, it might be difficult. But anyway, what is challenging is good already. So now let's add just these darker spots over here. Under his mouth. Also over here, it's going like this. Probably some dots. Just a little bit of black. Because it has kind of dots on his mouth.
yeah, I just need to find like a good photo, you know, because not all photos are good. And I need something like this. This photo is good to paint because you can't see clear the face. Because when it's turning like left or right, it's already a bit more difficult. Okay, I'll drop the black line again here. Let's just make it a little bit thicker, I guess. Yeah, I also like how eyes looking here. I just add a little bit of highlights and it's done. So that's what I'm talking about. When portrait is like turning like another side, eyes looking on another way and it's really not gonna be so attractive in my opinion. At least I can't achieve it right now. So this is why on my level right now I'm choosing mostly like these paintings. But I'm sure that in the future it can be achievable also. So I'm gonna fix a little bit nose over here and just use another small brush. Also just black, some black color. Just want to fix this little bit nose going upper, you know, just to make a little bit more curve here on this nose. Plus also it will be more darker to show the deepness again. I'm just fixing some details. This left nostril is a little bit bigger than right nostril. Yeah, Vanessa, what about your pets? Are they done eating? Are they happy? Yeah, they're good now, of course. They eat so much, for sure. Okay, yeah, now it's much better, I guess. Just change a little bit nose over here.
okay, I think I can do the background, but I have to save this whole color, so I need some space to fix the palette. Okay, guys, just five minutes I will fix all this palette. Have to clean it a little and divide the leftover painting also probably to fix some other details over just five minutes five ten minutes break while i'm fixing this stuff I have to take out the painting just for some moments while fixing this. So I'm gonna use another palette knife. Just leave it like this so you can see. While I'm fixing here. Sure, Vanessa, take your dog out. So this is the leftovers. Probably I will use it again to fix details. You know, it's never endless story, they said. <laughs> And I have to clean my brush. But probably I will use another brush, so it's kind of okay. So we decided to paint orange background. I will just prepare paints. I 
Hi, Naisla. No, it's not over yet, but probably soon, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna fix something again, you know. It's always happening. I'm just gonna work on background now. Because I just wanna see how this dog gonna look with the background together. We decided to make orange, the orange background, I'll just put it away a little bit at the moment. And I'm gonna add this. I'll just take a little bit of red at the moment. Just let's see how it's gonna be. You know, just experimenting with mine. No, the thing is that you just can't edit a video. It will be like this. So if here is a mistake, here is a mistake. I can't edit it. <laughs> but that's cool. At some point. It's not scary, you know, because no, maybe at some point when you can do the mistake or you did me, yeah, you can do it, but anyway, it happens to any artist. Uh, thank you for compliments, Lensla. Appreciate that you came. I just I think it's gonna be okay. Probably I will add a little bit more yellow because I'm not sure it's gonna be enough paint over here what I have. So I'll just add more yellow. Yeah, just a happy accident. <laughs> if it's really happy, you know. <laughs> Because it's, if it's totally a disaster. But anyway, even if it's totally a disaster, you can say it's like it's an abstraction, you know, and you planned for it. So everything can happen. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. Okay, let's just try to blend it. I'll just use this Bristol brush for now. I just want to be sure that it's going to cover This line so here. No, I think it's too bright. It's okay, let's just color it then. If it's not gonna be okay, you can fix it after anyway.
I think it's gonna be okay, but it doesn't cover this line so here. But I don't like. I mean this grid. Because I can see it. I will just fix it with white, I think. I still have this white color. Oh, wait. I forgot to move my painting. That's much better now. So I'm gonna cover this. like underpainting <coughs> anyway it's gonna drive first so because I'm using board today. Today I like I didn't do under painting today. I started to paint already, like with layers. But usually it happens that all this grid and sketch are still visible, and some paints can't cover it well. So I will just cover it a little bit more now. and then can continue to add this background again. Ah, thank you, man. It's okay. We all do like this because live stream usually long. So, yeah. It's not a problem. Because I just don't want to divide this painting into live stream. I just want to paint all together at one day and it will be done. Yeah, we choose orange just to add this popping out effect of the dog a little bit more. Okay, we'll try to add again. Just let's see how it's gonna be. Yeah, it's much better now. Maybe even it will be a little bit more lighter it is also key I just don't want I know sometimes I want to make I don't want to do it like all orange in one color maybe it will be a little bit different some 
partly the lighter, some is darker, but also is cool. Also I like when the paint is like thick. It looks thick on the background. Also gives some effect. You just have to be careful with this ear. You don't want to cover it. I think I'm oil peeling again. It's too thick. I guess I also gonna need more colors or more paints, I mean. Because it's running out so fast. No, it's much better. No, just a little bit boring process, to be honest. Not much fun on it. Just paint around, around the dog. Plus I could need more color. Why color paints, I mean? Да, у нас долгий тут стрим получился. Что с ноутбуком было? У меня как-то давно сломался монитор. Приходилось менять. Here. 
No, it's not Quinton. It's it's English brand Dollar Roni, I think, or Dollar Roni, something like this. I will show you just a moment. Maybe it's like this. Maybe you can see if it's not too blurred. It's not so expensive, like Georgian oil, dollar, really. I would say it's not so much expensive compared to other brands, and it kind of gives good quality also. It is difficult to find now here in the city. Probably I'm gonna order it from Amazon or eBay, but I guess Amazon there is a lot of it because I like this brand. But I thought about Winton also. Maybe I'm gonna try. The problem is that it's not good to mix all brands. Like, for example, if you're working with one brand on current painting, it's better to continue to work with the same brand because all these pigments and colors are different from each brand and it might be a little bit different. For example, if you're talking about many colors on the painting and, for example, you're running out of paints and you bought another brand and you mix it, it can give you totally different color. So have to be careful with this because all those brands have different pigments. But anyway, all together our oils are expensive, I would say. But also acrylics are expensive. If we talk about good acrylics, it's also expensive. But I guess oil is much more expensive. For example, all my collection already is a lot more than 100 bucks, I guess. Like more, but more. But of course, it's not bought in one day, but anyway. Ah, спасибо, Лили. За ваше внимание. Ну, тут дело все в фотографии. Вот удачная фотография, и все, и сразу по-другому получается. До этого вот была неудачная и не очень получилась. Поэтому надо тоже тщательно выбирать, что не всегда, к сожалению, получается. Но если получается, то, в принципе, тогда и работа получается. Потому что, как бы, лично для меня, в данном случае, вот, когда такой взгляд, и собака смотрит напрямую, ну, или это не собака, а другое любое животное, в принципе, уже лучше получается результат, чем когда там голова повернута, и она смотрит в другую сторону. То есть там есть свои какие-то нюансы. Yes, it depends from the brands, but anyway, I would say that mostly good brands are all expensive. Even average brand, it's for me average, uh, for example, this Pebeo, what I was using back in the Philippines, so it was not so expensive, but altogether it is also kind of pricey. 
for probably it's not so expensive compared to other brands. But it's good to start with. So for, for those who just gonna start with oils, maybe not so necessary to buy very expensive things. But no need to buy cheap, because cheap will not give you good result. Yeah, well, sir, like this. Not all people can handle it. So if you have a little better, no, you can paint it. For example, outside, if you have like a simple shelter, you can use it. But for example, I painted in the room now, and I can smell it. But for me, it's kind of okay. And that. Да, да, решили взять оранжевый цвет, потому что прошлый был красный, если помните, кота когда рисовали. В этот раз решили взять оранжевый, тоже что-то поярче, ну потому что просто черный на ярком таком фоне или на светлом фоне уже смотрится немножко получше. Actually, acrylic doesn't have a smell, I would say. Like water, you can combine it. Why I don't like acrylic so much? Because it's dry so fast and I can blend it after all. So this is why I prefer oil over it. But just, you know, my opinion. I'm using acrylic for walls, for example. But I have to rush always with acrylic. Because after, if it's dry, it's difficult to find the same color. Plus, here is another thing about acrylic. When it's gonna dry, it turns a little bit darker than it, than it is. When paints are still fresh, it's more lighter. But when it dries, it's getting darker. And if, and if you have to work, like for example, some days, it might give some disaster to find the right color after that. I don't know, just my opinion. But anyway, all paints, I think, have advantage and disadvantage. You just have to find what suits for you best. For example, in some cases with oils and dry long, I can't finish painting. And I have to wait like several days until it's gonna dry. You know, all that stuff and it's like pissing me off because I'm excited but I can't do anything with this and you just have to sit and wait So this is why I found this board, because this board absorbs oils and paints dry much faster than just on canvas. So canvas I'm using mostly for big paintings, so commission paintings if I have in customer ones, canvas for example.
For example, now I also have a little bit struggle because this black and orange painting mixing all together we give it a little bit dirty spots that I don't like. I have to take a little brush. This is smaller brush to cover this area. Just some fixing, fixing over fixing. Now can take so much time, so much time, some time, I mean, so much time. My English sometimes broken. Nothing to do with this. Thank you, Lena, for joining. We're close to finish, I could say, but not sure. And I have to add after this black outline a little because I want to cover this white spots what you probably can't see but here beside the edges Okay, 
still have a little bit of paint. I also like to use palette knife because like, I love the form how it leave the paint in you no know, like te texture old school. Yeah, I have GF, but I will show you after this stream. But I don't like it too much, to be honest. I still have a video yeah, of it, but I never upload it, because I still I think I have to edit it. So, yeah, I even don't touch it in editor. Okay, I'll fix now those details. Also here, no, just to, I would say, to beautify our dog even more. Have to fix here. This near edges are like free spot, probably, but the camera doesn't show. But I can see them, don't like it. So. into some edits over over here. Also have a fix and that's a solar surface. It looks like it's broken to make it a little bit round.
just some moment guys Okay, we have to add sign now. Make sure on the side. One moment. I'm always adding the sign on the side. Okay. Okay, so now it's time for the giraffe. I will show you this painting since Vanessa was asking. But I don't like it much, to be honest, because I... Uh, how to say... I did the wrong colors. So this painting is... I think it's done. I will just editing details because probably it's gonna boring to watch. Anyway, live stream will be going for some while more while I will be fixing. But now I'm gonna show you the giraffe that I painted already months ago. Just a moment, guys, I have to look. Where is it? Just few minutes, guys. Okay, I found it. So this is the giraffe. Just, I will put a little bit back. My easel so we can see properly. So here it is. But I don't like it, because the stones is not right, and I never upload it. It looks a little bit weird. Maybe on the photo is not so weird, but I just don't like it so much, so I don't know if I have to upload it or no. Probably. But I have to edit videos. Maybe I have to add a little details on the eye. And maybe mouse to add more little bit shadows. But 
it will be already difficult to find the right color so right now yeah so like this thank you Vanessa anyway <laughs> glad that you like it yeah. like this спасибо Лиля за комплименты Okay, I will not switch off the live stream, but I have to fix some details over here. Probably I will be fixing it. Also, I have to clean my brushes. I will just let the video play because I need this watch hours, you know, and all this stuff. So I will be like easy for a while. I will take a break for some maybe 20 minutes break I will have. Then I will continue some edits over here. Thank you, Em. Yeah, I add a little bit more depth in the painting. Anyway, I will fix some details, as I said, and I want to add some more texture on the background and probably fix this area outside a little bit more also so kind of like this yeah so if you want to stay you can stay guys if you want to go it's also fine because it's a long stream already and yeah thank you for coming anyway i appreciate your help so next video will be on the Sunday again. Probably it gonna be a premiere video, or probably I'm gonna try to do live stream again. But actually, I painted a large painting. For those who follow me on Instagram, you can check this painting because I uploaded there already. It's a toucan painting, the bird, the large bird on the large canvas and probably it's gonna be like video in two three parts anyway I'm gonna see so yeah i will continue this after like 20 minutes just fixing details so if you want to come come after 20 minutes if not then it's also fine i appreciate your help already so for those who are gonna go i will tell bye bye and i will see you soon again so yeah thank you anyway i will be busy now for a while
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'll just finish some moments over here and it will be done. I still want to finish some outlines over here. Because it doesn't look as I want to. I will just add some texture in the background a little bit more using same color. It's kind of a long stream already. I'm standing for almost four hours, a little bit difficult.
Okay, now is the, the main moment. And if for some visitors it's the main moment. Да, можно и так сказать, снять скотч, и в принципе все. Спасибо, Лиля. Хорошо, Сидли. Я вывел финиш в Угради. Это окей. Я буду иметь другие стримы. Anyway. Today we were painting a dog. A bulldog. It's a French bulldog. It was a requested painting. So, yeah. Just decided to add this orange background just you know for experiment so thank you i appreciate it but it's kind of long video it's almost four hours of painting talking you know. so yeah I will just let it play for a while because I need watch hours and all this stuff, you know. While we'll be fixing, let's video play.
Thank you, Anatsen. Bye-bye. See you all soon.